well, what is true is that the certain principles that we see in life, they apply to different situations. And yeah. then what we see with the financial crisis in the world and then many other things that are falling apart mm -hmm. is actually a very good thing because it's a breaking up of, of structures into new things. Mm -hmm. And if we know this, then we move like this. Life is not always one thing and then it stays forever like this. Life is a constant movement. Mm -hmm. And I think the wise people on the planet are the ones that recognize this and they start following this movement. Mm -hmm. And yes, we create structures and they are very lovely and we can let them go into another version of itself and into another version. And so the, the, the myth of awakening as a, like as a safe place where you finally arrive and then you are there and then you will stay there, this doesn't exist because life is always moving, so also the awakening is constantly moving with it. Mm, mm. And that's beautiful. We will never arrive in the haven where we can get lazy again and fall asleep again. Right. So if you want to be awake, you need to continue with the movement because life is unfolding through us all the time. So we will never know what it will be because it is going to be through us. Mm, mm. And we participate and therefore I think it's very important that we all participate in it. Mm -hmm. Because if you're holding back from it, it has an effect. So how do we participate in it? How do we jump into that, our own evolution? That we, that we participate into life, that we participate in relation. We are aware that there are parts that we need to integrate and we give our energy to this to integrate it. The, we give our energy to our practice mm -hmm. and we, we, we participate in the living process so that we identify where am I holding back my my energy and and by becoming aware of it and engaging more we learn to to open these areas into aliveness mm. and aliveness is is like water so sometimes we can also say okay there's a mountain and the water flows down the mountain wisdom is like this mm -hmm. so it depends where we are developed in our consciousness mm -hmm. state we, we need to know where we are standing on the mountain and we need to see that water comes from up, goes through us and flows down. But if we stop it, then the area underneath us will get dry. Mm. So when we hold back energy, some, it has an effect on reality. It, it's not only our personal thing, it has an effect on everything. Mm. Mm. So it's not a personal thing.